Howdy folks, just some of the goods from banggood.com. I'll put the uh, website up above me here just so you can see. It. This is just some of the products that they carry. They have fire sales, deals, rewards, uh, reward points, whatever on their site. They, they have a lot going on, but they have some really cool tools. Uh, they have a selection of a lot of things. Uh, the tools is just all I'm talking about. There's, they've got everything, you know, clothing, you name it. And just wanted to cover some of this today. And also we have a giveaway for the detail sander. And I have, of course, this is Thursday, so new tool Thursday from who else? <laughs> Bang good again today. And this will be the uh, paint sprayer, I believe. So let's get the box open, take a look at the paint sprayer, and we got to get to this. Uh, yeah, the giveaway. Yes. So yeah, let's uh, open the. This is a detail sander. What the? Ah. Okay. So let's open the box to the. No, 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 no. Let's. Let's do the draw. <laughs> I looked for a fish bowl or something that you know we could mix all the uh, mix all the tickets up with, and I thought, well, you know what? I don't have a fish bowl, but I got a few extra buckets around here right now from another show. <laughs> So, we're going to try to get down to just mix them up a little bit, and let's pull one out, and let's see who we got here. Who? Oh, man. Chuck Ballard in Auburn, Georgia. Wow. Hey, Chuck, I don't know. <laughs> okay, guess what? You're getting a detail sander. <laughs> My Good deal. Yes, yeah, sir. All right, congratulations, Chuck. And that's this will go out to you. Actually, we'll get this packed up uh, today. Tomorrow's Christmas Eve. We'll see if we can't get it at least in the mail for t tomorrow for Christmas Eve. And sometime between now and uh, the end of the year, you should have it, right? <laughs> yeah. And thank you all, everybody, for responding. And, you know, we're going to have more giveaway stuff anyways. But uh, I think if some more of this sort of thing comes in, where it's duplicate or we can get multi pieces or something we'll do some giveaways with that with that too just you know give it to people who can use it right I, I don't need the detail sander i hope chuck needs it because he's getting it <laughs> and again like i said thanks for everybody for entering the contest we even added a couple names in there that uh responded to the wrong email but it was like well you know what let's throw them in with the let's throw them in with the rest of the fishbowl here and let's get that and now let's get to the uh another item from bang good this is uh this is a sprayer so we'll open the box and we'll have a look at it hmm. uh, okay so this is the um there we are ts s g2 spray gun this is an electric spray gun and i actually had a project uh for this but the weather kind of <laughs> sort of messed it up a little bit on me What's in the box? Well, this is quite the, wow. This is a big spray gun. Yeah, but it's a nice, it's a nice one. Look at the size of this thing. Yeah, that's a good size. We've got large container. We've got good, good looking spray head. And because it's electric and it's corded, actually, which I, like I said, I kind of fallen back towards the corded models. Look at this LED light. So you can, uh, you know, flash a little light on there to see what you're doing. <laughs> and look at that gun. Wow, that is cool. And let's see if we can't get her all hooked up and make her look good. Got lots of parts here. Again, this is from Banggood. Uh, ready? Okay, we got it out. Yay! I got it out. So, we've got some different uh, caps here. Nozzle. Nozzle heads, yep, different nozzles for different applications. So there's quite a bit that comes with this little guy. Um, here's the instructions, which uh, I'm holding, well, I'm holding it right side up, but it looks upside down. But yeah, let's get her out. Let's have all this manual. So there's a picture of the what it looks like after you get it all set up. And the user manual. There's uh, English. Okay, there's eight pages of English in here for helping you to, you know, figure out how to set this up for specific gravity. Because, like I said, you're going to have to thin your paint a little bit. It's just typical with air or, in this case, electric. This really cool LED light, which you can extend up so that you can point into your work so you can light up the area where you're spraying so you can see it better. And that's uh, part of that... Uh, 
package. Cool. Okay, there we go. And there, now she's locked. Now, I'm going to pull this trigger. I'm ready to throw paint at, at uh, whatever. I've already got a, is there a tip? Yep. Yeah, there's a, yep, paint tip already in there. And of course, you can set your spray pattern to, you know, this, this uh, sort of a fan this way, or you can turn it up like that and get the fan the other way so you can go across. The paint itself, uh, that's where, like I said, that's the trick of these things is you got to get the paint right in order to make the sprayer work right, and that's where people can screw up. They've got a nice set of instructions here on timing the paint as it runs through this piece here. So you basically put the paint up in here and you time it how long it takes this to empty out, and that'll tell you if the paint is thin enough to go in the sprayer or whether you need to thin the paint down more. They've got it right here. I noticed my dog uh, caught me with her teeth there. Yeah, I got a, got nailed. The dog was playing and got a little too carried away. As you can see here, I mean this thing, this thing is a large, uh, here, let's see, that's even prettier, right? Uh, top Shack. It's a large painter, but you know, if you're outside and you got to do side of a barn or you're you know, doing a building, or in this case, I've got a trailer out there right now that needs to be painted. And there we go, and it just locked into place. And it needs to be painted. This is perfect because I can paint that whole trailer with this and do it outside, uh, away from the shop and stuff, and just sort of paint only what I need to paint and not make up a big mess or something. These are great because you don't need a compressor or anything. You've got electric, and I, I don't know if you've ever seen some of the other ones that have been on the market, but you know, believe it or not, sometimes this is what you need for the larger jobs, and it's a lot. You know, and when you're spraying, a lot of times it comes out a lot better than brush or roller or any other method for putting paint on. Spraying, you know, you get a nice finish sometimes with these. If you, you just got to take your time and do it right, kind of thing. Now, the instructions are pretty detailed over the head, and you know, for for cleaning and servicing afterwards. And also the LED light thing, which I thought was, man, that's really neat. We need to plug this thing so I, so I can see the LED light on. <laughs> There's your spray patterns. I backed up so you could get an idea of the physical size of this particular electric spray painter and the size of the can and just the overall, you know, piece of equipment you're looking at here. For the price, man, if you have to paint something big, this is the way to go. I'm going to give you a link provided in the description below to where you can find this. Uh, Banggood probably has a discount on it, but they pro they might have a, a fire sale on it at some point. So you can pick this up at a pretty gold, gold darn good price. And with a little, little LED light in the top of it, obviously somebody's been doing some thinking about how to make the spray gun work and you know do the best they can with it. Also, you have the storage caps at the back here for the nozzles. And storing so you can store all the rest of the goodies right back here and they have a strap like I said for older the shoulder and they also have this is um, whoa huh, this is this is sometimes uh, they call a spe specific weight or something uh, gauge or measurement and this particular electric gun comes with a, a pretty good size amount of cord it's got different settings for how much paint you want to feed so you can actually adjust the trigger here to get you know what you need on it sort of thing and then also the pattern here is adjustable and let, what is the capacity of this that's that's a question in itself isn't it let's find out the capacity on that thing so let's talk in terms of uh, application here for the electric spray gun unit and its uh, voltage obviously is 110 for the US the uh, motor power is 700 watt motor rpm is 3200 rpm it also has LED voltage of 16 to 20 volt for the LED and color temperature. In other words, you can set this for really bright so you can see really well the color that you are painting to a pre-color rendering index and electric current 200 milliamps on the, again, the LED. The uh, material that it can shoot, oil enamel, oil base primer, oil stain, clear sealer, polyurethane, varnish, lacquer, Sanding and sealer, lacquer, automotive finishes, and latex. Automotive finishes, yeah. Did you hear that? Okay. Uh, as long as you, like I said, thin the paint to the right amount, there's no reason why you can't spray it. The can here is said to be 1,200 milliliter. Uh, a quart is about, 
something like 900 milliliters or whatever. So, milliliters, yeah. So, this will hold more than a quart, but I wouldn't put any more than a quart at one time. Let's face it, one of the things that you don't ever do with any spray gun, never overfill it, just make sure you have enough in here to start the job or get most of the job done. If you run out, you fill it up a little more, that's fine, but don't ever overflow one of these bad boys. If you ever get that mess going into one of these guns, it's bad, he has bad news. But anyways, the 110 plug, electric spray painter, yeah baby, that's a nice tool. That is from Banggood. And like I said, Banggood is the real thing. You'll see them advertised and sometimes on really spectacular low prices. That's because of the real deal, you know. Uh, I've seen some other sites out there that, uh, yeah, let's just say they were giving away huge toolboxes full of tools, uh, Craftsman or whatever, for $69 or something, and they weren't, they were just taking your money. Nothing else was gonna happen after that. Specifically on Facebook is where I saw some of that stuff. But anyways, you might see the Banggood on Facebook, but they're real. It's a real website, real product, real deal all the way around. I've got some more Banggood stuff coming in. Also I have some other product coming in from all over the place, but uh, this one here, was just, it hit me, this, it's like, it's one of those things like, you don't realize you need it until you get in the middle of a job and go, you know what, electric sprayer would have really made this job a lot easier. And like I said, I've got a, uh, a towable trailer for my tractor and the trailer needs a paint job really badly. It's gonna get paint. So we were gonna do it with this this week and the weather sort of closed in and sort of messed up things a li little bit on me, plus scheduling, plus tomorrow's Christmas Eve. So. We had a, just too much going on, couldn't do it. So I still promised Banggood I would show you guys the sprayer. So like I said, I'll provide a link, and if you're interested in an electric sprayer, hey, you know, have at it. Yeah, definitely a good thing. We might do a show later on and put the paint in here and go ahead and paint the trailer. <laughs> we'll have a show, that's an episode. <laughs> that, that is an episode there. The uh, other thing I'm gonna do at the time being is Let's uh, see if we can disassemble this thing now. Yeah. <laughs> okay, pull the button, unlock it. There, okay, there we go. And separate the pieces. And we're gonna put her back in the box for now. Oh, there's also a little wire here for cleaning out the nozzle for when she gets a little tacked up with paint. Because yes, that sort of thing happens with paint. Paint's a messy thing to work with, I have to admit. But, but considering the list of finishes that you can run through this gun, I'd say, that's a good product, yeah. <laughs> Even automotive finishes, wow. Who would have thought of that, hey. Thank you, like always, for watching Coffee and Tools. Please like, share, and subscribe, and thank you for everybody that uh, tried to enter for the uh, contest. Also, uh, got more stuff like that to be given away. Uh, Merry Christmas, I've got something tomorrow I'm gonna be posting, and it's really just a, I just, uh, just a Christmas thing out for anybody that wants to see it, and we'll get into that tomorrow. Ha <laughs> ha, for Christmas Eve, we'll be releasing it. Cool. In the meantime, uh, guys, have a great holiday and everything, and uh, over and out.